Our special guest is German conceptional artist David Helbig, who moved to Brussels 11 years ago, falling in love with the city that reminded him of Berlin in the 90s. If you stand still at places you have never stand still before, even in your own street, the details come up, they pop up. David is enjoying much acclaim and exposure with his Belgian Solutions Facebook group, where he points out some of the interesting concepts he has found in Brussels. How well do you think you know the city? There is nothing like a Brussels identity. Brussels is the sum of all these identities. Maybe there's not even something like a Belgium identity, and that is sometimes a problem for people, especially for Belgians. And I think it is an incredible advantage. That's why I live here. For me, it's a very inspiring situation of freedom. And I know that freedom always means conflict, and it is not a city free of conflicts, but it is um, the freedom of adding your identity to all the other identities. In the good moments, it gives them a very beautiful sense of solidarity. And that's what I love about Brussels. I have a group called Belgian Solutions and I post pictures of this kind of like nice cute solutions and a lot of other people do the same thing actually. I made this picture. This is exactly here where we're standing. Uh, there's the hotel à la Grand Cloche, uh, the old station hotel when the station was still here. And I found a little detail namely a little tape somebody put here. First I didn't understand. I thought it was maybe a mistake, but it is actually a solution for not having the right street board because there is a little street where the white car is now. So somebody was thinking like, we don't have the right board, I'm not going back, give me some tape and I solve the problem like this. Belgian solutions have a lot of different subjects but there are somehow three subjects which always come back and one is like tapes. I have the feeling sometimes that Brussels is a taped city. This is one of my favorite, the house number six. I made a picture of this shop, which where I do my laundry of every week. Economic Salon Lavoie, Economic Lavoie Salon. You see the old board and the new board, and somebody thought, we just need the left half, we shouldn't do two boards. I mean, it's like an economical way of making a board about economical laundry. So this is a, a very nice example of something which is going on for a while in Brussels. The city would clean up your house uh, from graffiti uh, for free, just to make the city look a bit nicer because uh, working on the image. And then I would just paint over and you have like already three shades of, of paint. They're the real street artists. This is what makes Brussels also a place which feels much bigger than it actually is. A very nice combination of a small city with an incredible bigness in itself. 